Did you know God's words are medicine? Proverbs 4 says they are life to those who find them and health and medicine to all their flesh. I'm Mark Arnott and this is your Daily Dose. Hi, I'm Mark Arnott and one of the reasons why I'm doing the Daily Dose is because I've been healed by the power of God's Word and I believe I need to share it with other people. As people hear this testimony and hear the following teachings, I believe they'll be healed as well. When I was 19 years old, I jumped off a Tarzan rope swing. Have you ever done something like that? My third time out that day, I jumped off this Tarzan rope swing off of a cliff. The cliff was about 30 feet up. Not huge, but big enough. Jumped off this Tarzan rope swing and swung out over the water. My foot got tangled up in the rope. I came back and smashed into the cliff. I fell into shallow rocks and water below and uh, the pain started in my feet and back and uh, my friends had to bring down an inner tube. They floated me down the stream, put me in the back of a jeep and took a 45 minute trip to the, to the emergency room and there they x-rayed all of my body, my hands and feet and everything. They said I had severely crushed both my heels. The fatty, cash, fatty cushion on my heels went to the sides. And so I severely crushed both my heels, fractured my back, and life was not a dream at that point. I was 19 years old. I used to play sports all the time. I mean, I loved outdoors and everything, and now I find myself all laid up. For the next two weeks, I was sitting at home. I, I eventually got to a wheelchair, wheeled myself around a little bit. My mom bought basketball knee pads from my knees so I could crawl around on the floor because I couldn't touch my feet. My, my feet just hurt so bad, constant pain. So then I had about another two weeks in the wheelchair, six weeks of crutches, and then learned to walk all over again. Even after that point, I could only walk maybe a couple hundred yards, and then a quarter of a mile. Then I have to stop, and my feet would just hurt. I would walk into a grocery store, and my feet would hurt because of the cold. Eventually, I moved down to Florida because the weather is better for my circulation, for my feet. Well, during this time I was laid up, so I started just watching a lot of TV preachers and teachers. I was finding out like who God is. Now, God didn't do this to me, but I had extra time on my hands, so I took advantage of the time and started learning some things about God. I started feeling a sense to ministry during this time. I started going to a, one Bible school, and uh, it was going well and everything, but they totally didn't believe that God wants everybody well. Well, I wanted to be well so bad. I found out about another Bible school that taught faith and healing, and so I gotta go there. Well, my first class when I got there was called Christ the Healer, and my eyes lit up. My heart was thrilled. Christ the Healer? Are you kidding me? They started establishing from the scriptures that God wants me well. They gave me truth after truth, scripture after scripture, about how God wants me well. And I started to believe it. Jesus said, you'll know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Well, that's me. I wanted to be free. If you're hurting really bad, you want to be free. I mean, you'll take any medicine. If you got a bad headache, you'll take any. You just want to be free. That was my condition. My feet hurt. My back hurt. I wanted to be free from it. So even though I was still in pain, this is six years later, a constant pain, I, I heard the word, I heard the word, I heard the word. And faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. I heard the word, and even though I still hurt at that moment, I said, that's mine. I'm going to take that. I believe that God wants me well. I went from hope to faith, true faith, and I started expecting my body to change. And I found out that Jesus spoke to a fever and it obeyed him. He spoke to the wind and waves. He cursed a fig tree. So his words had power. In Mark 11:23. 23, Jesus said, whoever says to this mountain, be taken up and cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says is going to happen, he shall have whatever he says. So I started talking to my body. Can you believe that? Can you talk to your body? You sure can. Jesus did it. Jesus said we could do it. So I started talking to my body. I started speaking healing words to my body, going after healing scripture, after healing scripture. I went to school, had my classes, went to healing school after those classes. And then afterwards, I remember sitting out in the curb or going to the parking lot and I would just quote healing verses or I'd say things like, I call my body strong. I call my feet strong. 
I call my back strong, healed, and whole. And I started to see myself running. I couldn't run. I couldn't, really couldn't walk very well. But I started getting better and better. Healing implies a process. I started getting better and better and better. Thank God for prayer. Thank God for people laying hands on you and praying. Thank God for all these different things. But there's power in the spoken word of God alone. He sent his word and healed them. And I chose to believe these scriptures and the word of God that was coming to me. I mean, it was ridiculous. It was so strong in my heart. Like, that's me. That's mine. I'm running. I'm going to be healed. I'm taking it now. I don't care how bad I hurt right now because I hurt. Day after day, I hurt. But I saw it so strong in my heart that I had to get better. My body had to change. Circumstances cannot change the word of God, but the word of God can change your circumstances. And I chose to believe it. God said, I'm watching over my word to perform it. So I started taking him at his word. I started reminding God of his word, giving him scripture after scripture and say, Lord, I believe you. I believe you. And I started walking out of that mess, out of the pain, out of the backache, out of the feet problems. I started just coming right on out of that. Why? I had it days before. I had it weeks before. I had it months before in my heart, in my spirit. And it just started manifesting to my outward body. If you get God's word strong enough in your heart, strong enough in your spirit, you can come out of anything. The Bible says all things are possible to him who believes. So I started getting better and better and better. I mean, it was just a couple months later, I was running. I was leaping, jumping. I was riding my unicycle again. I was running. Do you hear me? I was running. I used to hurt. I became free from pain. I could walk into a grocery store now and the, and the freezer section wouldn't hurt me, wouldn't cause pain to my feet or my back. Now I could just be perfect and normal. Praise God. God's word works. If we take it, God's word works. I chose to believe it. So one of the best things for me is that I just had to saturate myself with the word of God. If you saturate yourself with the word of God, if you immerse yourself in God's presence and in his word, faith will come and rise up in your heart and you'll be able to take anything that belongs to you. The Bible says, take, right? Receive from God. That word receive means to take. Whatsoever things you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them or believe that you take them and you shall have them. So I had to believe it before I had it in my body. I believed it and it manifested in the outward here. God's word is medicine. So as these daily dose continue to go on and on and on, I believe that as you watch them, faith will rise in your heart and you can be healed of anything. Be encouraged today. I've been healed. You can be healed. Share it with your friends and others and spread the good news that Jesus saves and he heals and he delivers from any type of bondage. God loves you and I love you. We'll see you here on The Daily Dose. See you here next time for your Daily Dose. I'm Mark Arnott, and don't forget to take your medicine.